Few forgers fool the best experts, but there are a great many forgers who can deceive the man in the street. Even amateurs can fool machines. The average human eye is still far superior at picking up visual details than any optical reading device built. But the look of a signature is not its only unique quality. There's also the way the signature is written. In order to duplicate this, a forger would have to recreate exactly the same muscular reflexes in the fingers of his hand, and only in this unlikely event could the exact timings be reproduced. In order to catch forgers, they've built a machine that detects the differences in a signature's unique timings. This is what makes it all possible. This is a computer terminal in the form of a writing pad. Using one of these things, for the first time, it's possible for a computer to feel the way that a signature is being committed to paper. Let me show you. Now, whatever I scribble on this pad, the pad will tell the computer the exact path that my pen traced. This is how it works. Underneath the pad are two electrically conducting surfaces. The top one is soft and flexible, so that at any time I can force it to make contact with the bottom one by pressing the point of my pencil against it. Now, when a current is passed through the top sheet, the electrical potential from top to bottom varies from zero volts here to five volts here, so that for any position down the sheet, there is a corresponding electrical potential. And by telling the computer that potential, the pad is also telling it the position of the pencil. Quite apart from the position of the pen on the pad, there's the time element of any signature which is important. Inside this computer is a mechanism which is capable of timing very accurately. The time that the pen is in contact with the paper and the time that it isn't. And it's this factor which a great forger would find impossible to copy. The computer needs up to a dozen examples of someone's signature to sort those features which are always present from those which aren't. For example, does the middle bit always take longer than the outside bits? Are the loops always evenly spaced? These are details of timing unique to each person's signature. Now, the computer knows well the signature of John Yardley. He's one of the development team. But if I tried to forge John's signature, this setup should find me out without the slightest difficulty. Excuse me, John. Thank you. I've got one to copy from here. Not bad. <laughs> but the teleprinter has no trouble at all in saying forgery quite clearly. But of course, if John signs his own signature, the same system should give him the OK. Come on, John, you have a go. There we are, no trouble at all. Banks are obviously going to find this system very useful indeed. A simple pad terminal in every branch linked to a central computer and every customer's signature could be identified positively within a matter of seconds. The new pad opens much wider computerized horizons than simply forgery detection. Because if I write numbers and symbols on the pad, and what I write constitutes a problem of one kind or another, the computer can give me the answer in an instant without the use of keyboards or punch tapes. That's a pretty standard problem, but uh, even the most complicated arithmetical sum can be coped with by the computer in this very simple way. It's able to do this because it recognizes, it feels what I'm writing on the pad. And if it fails to understand what I've put down, it shows me by displaying on this panel here a question mark. And I go on feeding the same information into the computer until it understands what it is that I want to know the answer to. Again, timing is the secret. For example, here, seven can be discriminated from one just because it takes longer to write. Perhaps one day we'll all have a pad like this in our homes, and from here we'll be able to dial the services of the computer that we require. Routine form filling will have become a thing of the past. 
you may find that a rather disturbing thought. But one thing I feel I can say with complete confidence, even in tomorrow's world, these incredible machines will never replace honest television reporters.